Hello and welcome to another episode of the Voices of the Vic podcast with me, Mike Duffy. And today we're here to talk about new signing Kevin Keben, who is signing from Toulouse. Um, as anyone that watches his podcast will recognise, the man on the right of me, Anthony, um, joined me last year when we signed uh, Reese Healy from Toulouse as well. Uh, and this time round, we're hoping that the signing from Toulouse will feature a bit more than Reese Healy did and go on to do a little bit better. Um, Firstly, Anthony, thank you very, very much for joining me tonight. Um, uh, we're obviously here to talk about Kevin. He's 20 years old. Uh, he's from Cameroon. So far, he's made 44 appearances for Toulouse. He's made 19 in Ligue 1 and he's made two in the Europa League and then other competitions as well. Um, first things first, I've actually seen videos of the ultras at Toulouse singing with him. So will will he be missed by the fans? Is is this is this one? Is this a player that the the fans are going to miss very much? Um, good ev good evening, Mike. Um, he's not going to be the player that all the fans will miss because um, he didn't play that much with us. I was I was quite a bit surprised to be fair with the number you said you of uh, forty four apparent appearances because. Um, yeah, he's not like the player that you put um, in the eleven from you know like um, instantly. So I, I was quite a bit quite surprised with it. Um, but yes, I think he he, he developed qu quite a good relationship with the fans. Um, people like him, like liked him. I don't know how to say that now. Um, but yes, he's. He, he was very close to the fans uh, and also the fact that he was from our academy was is something that is very important for us as fans in Toulouse. Uh, so um, this is why we had a very good relationship with him. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you, you say there that he's, he's, um, he's come through the academy and he's not made many appearances, but when he has, what, what formation uh, Toulouse playing at the moment? Is, is he used to playing in a back three? Because at the moment, under the new manager at Watford, Tom Cleverley, we play with a back three. So is that something he will be used to with his Toulouse days? Or is he playing in a back four with Toulouse? It's, so, yeah, we have a manager that likes to try new things. Um, and so, yes, we sometimes play with three defenders, sometimes four, sometimes five. Um, so he used to play, you know, when he was in our academy, he used to be a midfielder, number six, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not, if I'm getting correct. But um, then he used to play his favorite position. I mean, the most common one was a central back. Um, in a like the most of the time, we could see him in, a, um, you know, with three defenders, three central backs. He was part of them. Um, and sometimes when we we were missing someone at the la the left on the left side or on the right side, he could then uh, replace them. Uh, but yeah, most of the time, I, I think the 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 best position for him is central back. And you you mentioned how he has played in in three in the back. Um, does does he often play on the right of that three or on in the middle of the three or? I would say on the left most of the time. Once again, you know, he didn't make a lot of appearances, but I think most of the time it was on the left. OK, that, that's very interesting to know because I know he is right-footed and at the moment uh, with Watford, we are very we don't have many players that are left-footed uh, in, in mm. defence. So oh, it's good to hear that he can play yeah, on it, the left. You know, I, I said left, but obviously many times, once again, he played... Um, in uh, on the right hand side as well, you know, it's not only on the left. Sometimes um, we we used to, we used to use him as, for example, the player. You know, when you have someone suspended or missing because of an injury, we yeah. use most of, the, of most of the time. Unfortunately, we used to this player to replace someone who was uh, starting the game, so um, like a regular player. And so, yes, it, this is why, you know, sometimes he played on the right-hand side, like right-back or left-back. left, left back. But, yeah, we didn't use him a lot on his favourite position because he was not on the top of the list of our defenders. Yeah. 
Uh, and I've seen, I know he hasn't made a lot of appearances for the first team, but uh, I was actually looking online uh, uh, at Kevin because I, I'd never heard of him. So I was doing a bit of research and it would seem that he is, some of the fans have said he's attracted interest from big teams before. Has, uh, has, has there been other teams that are in, uh, have been interested in Kevin? I um, I remember at the beginning of this summer, some teams from Spain, if I'm not wrong, we could hear mm -hmm. that some teams from, from Spain were interested. But it's true that it's a bit of a surprise for us to see him leaving uh, because it, it was not the plan. We, we lost and are going to, lo to lose more def even more defenders. Uh, I think we lost kind of four defenders so far, um, including him. So it's, um, it's a bit of a surprise for us, not a shock. Because once again, it was not he was not a player that we used to see every week, but yeah, it's a bit of a surprise, and um, I would say it's not easy to understand the choice of our club because um, yeah, it's, you know, on, for when you when you sell one of your one of of the player of your academy for one million euros to an English team. Who is supposed to to spend more? Um, it's a bit of a surprise for us. We don't understand why. We thought, you know, lo lots of us thought that it was going to be um, more important in the team this year, and maybe because you know he was from the academy, maybe you could bear bear the team with him, you know. Um, so it's a bit of a surprise. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's um, it's the choice from the the leaders of the club, and we have to accept it. I would not say he's going to be missed that much for for football reasons because obviously we did not see him that much. But it's a bit of a shame that his story with Toulouse ends now uh, because I, we we think that it could have been a very important member of the team this year, for example. So um, a bit of a surprise for us. That that's interesting you say that because um, from the few games that you have seen him, I, I mentioned how. Um, altogether, since he's been with you, he's made 19 appearances uh, in the league. Judging on those 19 appearances, does he look ready to make the step up to English football? Obviously, you know, we spoke about Reese Healy last time and, you know, you mentioned how Reese has got the, the talent to, to make the step up. And at the moment, he's doing OK at Huddersfield. But with Kevin, does he look like a player that can make that step up to English football? You know, if if I'm thinking of of his weaknesses, I would say maybe a lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's because of the you know it's not a criticism because obviously when you are young, when you're only 20, with 19 games only in uh, in Ligue 1, which is quite a physical uh, championship, a physical league, um, it's quite of um, yeah, it's quite a, it's kind of okay to be to lack some confidence, you know, especially when you start. Uh, but it's true that he will have to get stronger, to get used to to, to be familiar and to fit in this uh, tough championship, the second league in, in uh, second year in uh, in England. So um, yes, it's I think it's quite of a challenge for him. Um, obviously, he should play more than he was playing in Toulouse. Uh, but yeah, he will definitely need to to make some progress on the physical aspect. I would say. I, I, I'm not sure he's, to answer your question very easily and uh, to be straightforward. I don't think he's ready yet for it, but I'm sure he's got a lot of qualities and he's going to get better very soon. I hope so, I hope so for you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I hope so as well, because when, when the news come out that Kevin is going to be signing, it sounds very much like we're going to be playing him this season quite a bit. So at the moment, we might be losing uh, Wesley Hoot, the, the player of the season and the captain from last season. Um, and we've got quite a young defence as it is. So it does sound like he's going to be playing a lot. And you mentioned there how League Un is quite physical. The championship as well, um, depending on who you come up against, they, he's going to come up against a lot of strong players. Is that, is that what you'd say he needs to work on? Maybe building muscle a bit? Um, what what are his from the games that you've seen? What does he do well as well? Um, so yeah, I think yeah the the main the, from from my point of view, you know, 
Uh, I'm not a specialist, and uh, especially when it comes to you know, like the physical aspects of player, but he needs to. I think he needs to get some to get some muscle as well to get ready for it. Once again, it's something you can work on and that you can develop very easily if you're not lazy like me. Um, but <laughs> but if not, I would say the main strength from him is that he can play um, at many positions in the team, and that's quite a valuable aspect. You know, now it's it's quite hard. Now we we use players, you know, even when you know, so, so when some players do not want to play this position or this position, they are quite reluctant and they are not very good at it. I think he's been very, he's been okay or, or good at left back, central back, right back. Uh, when he was in our academy, he was a midfielder. So I think the main position, the the main sorry, the main quality for him is to be able to play. Uh, many position. Um, obviously, he's got. I think the main quality he's got as a player is kind of. Um, he's, he's quite an intelligent player, you know, very smart player as as well. I would say, but once again, you know, we didn't see him that much um, in like with the best in the best. You know, um, the best uh, thing for him. You know, he was only here to replace some players most of the time, so it's quite hard to to get an. Uh, a fair an analysis for of his style of 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 play. So yeah, it's very complicated. Yeah, uh, and also as well, you you mentioned how he you would have expected if he stayed, he would have played a lot more this season for Toulouse. How far do you think if he works on those weaknesses and everything else from what you've seen? How far do you think he can go in his career? Do you think if he does well at Watford? Maybe he could go to a, a top team in a few years, or do you, do you think he has too much to work on to make that jump up? I don't know if you know um, Issa Diop from Fulham. F yeah, Fulham, yeah. yeah. Um, he used to play like he was 16 when he started with us in Toulouse, and he, he's got quite the same physical condition as um, as Kevin. So um, you know, and at that time, like we sold him for like 25 million euros. After a few years in Ligue 1 and more appearances than than Kevin, so I think he can be this kind of player. You know, if I had to compare him with another player, that would be like Issa Diop. So he played for West Ham, obviously. Um, so a very good player. I mean, like maybe not um, for Manchester City, or I, I mean, I hope so for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I think he can be a, a good player for. Premier League, if he works on his weaknesses, obviously, because yeah, there is a lot of work to to do, I think, before getting that stage. But something that he can do, obviously. Yeah, that's uh, that that sounds very very good because, like I say, it sounds like he's going to be used quite a lot this season, and it's it's finding where he fits in best mm. in, in that back three because yeah, the, the left hand I... side of that back three is a real weakness of Watford. So it's good to hear he... that he can play on that left-hand side if, if he needs to. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's his favourite position or the best the best position you can use him in. But, yeah, he's, he, he's good. And But once again, you know, I cannot, I cannot get you 100% reassured because we didn't see him that much. One, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, what I would say, you know, it's quite a good bet from you to to buy this player for a million pounds, uh, one million euros. Um, so yeah, it's nothing, especially for an English side, and um, so yeah, that's a good bet. That's a good bet for, for from you. Um, I, I don't know if he's ready yet, as I told you. I mean, like to get him starting every single game each week in Championship, which is very it's a long season when you play in the Championship. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's quite a bet, I would say, so far from your from your side. I don't know, I don't know what. You uh, leader, I don't know what your leaders wanted to to get from him, uh, but yeah, it's quite a quite a bet. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Uh, it sounds like there 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 could well be a good player in there. It's just unlocking him and making sure we can push into that next exactly. stage. Uh, and and then yeah. just lastly, um, we saw this with Reese Healy. We you you guys had a song for Reese Healy. Um, he came over to Watford. We used that song. Are there any songs for Kevin that Watford fans need to be aware of? Or sorry, not, not yet. We, 
no, you will have to work a bit sorry <laughs> you, you, <laughs> sorry yeah we unfortunately i mean we would have we would have love to because that would be a good sign for us unfortunately we don't have it uh but yeah as i thought as we said at the beginning of the of our uh the conversation you know it's it, it's like yeah um he, he was very uh, i mean the fans liked him because he was quite close to us even if he didn't play that much he seems to be a very um nice guy you know i mean once again we want a good footballer before an, a nice guy but yeah it's quite important when you're a fan as well so that you can get uh, closer to the players and your club if you can see lads like him it's very good and uh, but i'm sure yeah i'm sure you will you will like him i mean I, hopefully for his football side and his personal side um you will see fingers crossed well thank you very very much for joining me again tonight anthony i really do appreciate it and like i said at the start hopefully this time a player will work out because the last player like i said we signed from toulouse was reese healy and he's no longer with us we do still have vacuum bio though Although with some yeah, of the signings, yeah, exactly. I forgot with, about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, with, with some of the signings we're making, he might go. But me personally, I love Vacuum Bio. I think he's he works really hard for the team. So we loved we loved him as well. We loved him yeah. as well, even if, if he was like um, behind uh, Rich Hilly for us because mm -hmm. Rich Hilly played more than him. Uh, but everybody likes him. I mean, everybody got a good. Um, a good memory everybody has a good memory from him uh yeah because obviously we spent a, a very nice season in uh, league 2 uh the second division and yeah we got good memories from him but you know what every single year you get a player from us but please next time last year you got Riz Healy for for free this year you got him from 1 million please next time get uh, like 10 million i don't know for one of our <laughs> player at least come on <laughs> yeah i know well we we don't spend a lot of money so we one million oh, yeah. as a moment for us is is a lot of money but thank you very much for joining me tonight <laughs> anthony um i really do appreciate it and fingers crossed we'll uh we'll be looking back on this conversation when we sell kevin in a few years for lots of money and maybe give to lose some money back as well so but thank you very much for <laughs> yes. joining me tonight, Anthony. <laughs> thank you very much, Mike. Uh, have a good evening and uh, thank you once again for having me. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.